Good morning, church family. Uh, nice to be joining you again, yet again. I'm hiding upstairs away from children who are currently playing Lego, so hopefully I can get through this whole video without them. Uh, this morning we're looking at Psalm 35, which, uh, I'm not going to lie, felt like a bit of a challenge again, but... Uh, there are loads of really exciting things in here and, and the thoughts that I had I'm just going to share with you and hope maybe that God can use them uh, to bless your day. So the first thing to say is this psalm, David is angry with his enemies. He is not happy about it. And what really struck me is in the first verse, in the first three verses, sorry, in number three, he talks about needing the Lord to say, I am your salvation. And I just thought, isn't that encouraging that David, who's seen in the Bible as one of these all-time heroes, he needs God to remind him that he's his salvation. In tough times, it's okay to ask God for that. It's okay to need reassurance and reminding that our salvation comes from him and it's not all about our strength. I found that really encouraging. Uh, the second thing I wanted to say is that David rightly wants uh, justice from his enemies. He talks a lot in this about how uh, he wants them to be uh, finished and stopped and that the Lord will be triumphant in it and I thought it's really interesting how he wants them to trap themselves and isn't that the case for us as well that we want the devil with his plans uh, to be stopped and we want those plans he puts in place for us to be the ones that trip him up instead we know God is solid we know he is our salvation and yet uh, things can look scary sometimes and again I thought it was really encouraging that David constantly wants uh, God to come and rescue him from that the third thing uh, that really struck me, and it depends which translation you read, I've discovered for this, but in verse 10, uh, he refers to all his bones. Uh, hang on, let me find it. My whole being will exclaim, who is like you, Lord? But in other uh, versions, it was talking about all my bones exclaim, who is there like you, Lord? And that really reminded me of the chapter in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37, where uh, the Lord says, I will make breath enter you and you will come to life when talking about the dry bones. I think sometimes it's really easy to think, oh, this is all fine for David. David had that strength. David had that ability to, uh, to know that God was going to be in that time of uh, real persecution with him. And sometimes it feels like there's nothing left of us. But you know, we have a Lord who can breathe life into dry bones. And no matter how weary you're feeling, no matter to how exhausted you are God will do that for you you can ask him to breathe life into your dry bones so that your bones your whole being is able to say who is like you Lord the next verse you rescue for the poor from those too strong for them the poor and the needy from those who rob them there is nothing God can't save you from today so the last point that I think is really important to remember in verse 27, it says, May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, The Lord be exalted. Who delights in the well-being of his servant? Verse 27 shows us that David knows he's not perfect. We see that in many other Psalms as well. We know that David makes a massive mistakes and he's not stupid about that. But he also knows that the Lord created him and loves him and wants good for him. And he knows that in order for the Lord to be glorified, that his enemies must suffer. So uh, he's very, very clear that those watchings will see the glory of God. And I think that's so encouraging for us. We're not perfect. None of us are. We know that. It's why uh, Easter happened. It's why Jesus Jesus came but we know that our God is mighty and strong and that ultimately his glory is the most important and we can have faith that when we ask for it God will give us a protection and we will be witnesses for his glory and no matter what circumstances we're in. Um, I hope that's helpful this morning I hope you have a really blessed day and look forward to seeing you soon okay bye bye.